Hi, I'm Jill at ingvid.com and today's lesson is about what are called homonyms. And don't worry about the strange word, all it means is words which have the same sound, the same pronunciation, but there are different spellings of them and the different spelling has a different meaning. Okay, so uh, I think there's sometimes a bit of confusion about whether these words are actually pronounced differently as well as being spelt differently. But the point about homonyms is they are pronounced exactly the same and it's only the spelling that's different. Okay, so we have 10 little quizzes for you here. So uh, the first one, um, I've put in a gap to give you a chance to think of the word and the spelling yourself. So for this sentence, it should read, there was a hole in the road and it took a whole group of workmen to fix it. Okay, so for the word hole, uh, there are two different spellings. So can you think what kind of hole this is? A hole in the road and what kind of hole this is a whole group of people okay I'll just give you a few seconds to think and you might like to write it down if you have a pencil and paper handy okay so a hole in the road meaning uh, something that needs to be repaired uh, is spelt like that, H-O-L-E, okay, but a whole, meaning a total group of workmen, uh, is like this only with a W at the beginning, so whole, and the pronunciation is exactly the same, whole in the road, whole group of workmen, there's no difference in how you say it. Okay, good. Right, second one. Do you know where my phone is? And then somebody else replies, I'm sorry, no, I don't. So, do you know? And no, I don't. So, I'll just give you a couple of seconds to think about the two different spellings of that. Okay, so do you know where my phone is? K, K N O W. Okay, that's one of our famous silent letters, the K at the beginning. So K N O W to know something. Do you know where my phone is? I'm sorry. No, just the negative. No. N O. Okay, so you can see N O is in the middle of. K-N-O-W, and the negative there, no, okay. Right, the third one. Yesterday, I knew where I had put my new coat. Today, I have forgotten. So you can see I'm forgetting things, I'm losing things. <laughs> um, I don't usually, it's just for the quiz really. I try not to forget things, I try not to lose things, but it happens sometimes. Okay, so yesterday I knew where I had put my new coat. Today, I've forgotten, where is it? Oh dear. So, yesterday I knew. Okay, so. Another one, it's the past tense of no, knew, and an another silent K. I knew where I'd put my, co my new coat. The new coat, which I only bought a few days ago. Okay, so again, those are the spellings, but the sound is exactly the same. Right, next one. I don't know where I'm going to wear this hat. So this word is where, 
in two different spellings. I don't know where I'm going to wear this hat. Okay, so that's where, in what place, like the question word, where, where shall I wear? Okay, I don't know where I'm going to. Okay, so that's a slightly different W-E-A-R to wear, to put something on, where and where. Okay, and then finally, from this first five, um, can you wait for me, please? I shouldn't be more than four minutes. Four and four. Okay, so... F-O-R, wait for me. And then the number of minutes, we don't just put the figure because that's cheating. We put the word, okay? Four minutes, so. F-O-U-R for the word. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that so far and we will now move on to another five. Okay, our next five. So, the first one. The boy threw the ball through the window. Okay, so he must have broken the window doing that. The boy threw the ball through the window. Same pronunciation, different spelling. Can you think what the two are? Okay, so... Through, that's the past tense of to throw. Uh, an irregular verb, so to throw, he threw in the past. The boy threw the ball through the window. Quite a difficult spelling, that one. T-H-R-O-U-G-H. Okay, through the window. Right, um, next one. Our mail, that's the post, our mail is usually delivered by a male postal worker. I couldn't put postman there because what we usually call them is postman but that's saying the same thing twice, a male postal worker. But today, it was a woman. Ah, okay. So, male is usually delivered by a male postal worker. Can you think what the two spellings are? Okay, so... M-A-I-L and M-A-L-E. And of course the female, well, male, female, so woman is the word male with F-E on the front, female. Okay. Right. Okay, next one. Don't leave your baby son out in the sun. He will get burnt. This is especially in very hot countries. In the UK, you don't have to say this kind of thing very much because we don't get a lot of sunshine. <laughs> okay, but in other countries, yes, you might need to say this quite a lot. So, don't leave your baby son out in the sun, he will get burnt. Okay, can you think of the two spellings for that? Right, so, your baby, if your baby is a boy, then he's your son, S-O-N, but then the sun that shines is 
S U N. Okay? Right? Next one. Now, this is about someone, perhaps a little girl who's not very happy and she's being a nuisance. So somebody said, oh, please give her a piece of chocolate and then we might have some peace, meaning peace and quiet. She won't bother us now. If we give her some chocolate, a piece of chocolate, then we will have some peace, peaceful. Okay, so can you think of the two spellings there? Piece of chocolate, have some peace and quiet. Okay, so So P-I-E-C-E -E for the little piece of chocolate, or maybe a big piece of chocolate, hopefully. We like big pieces of chocolate, yeah. Okay, um, and then to have some peace and quiet. P-E-A-C-E, -E. okay, but the pronunciation exactly the same different spelling. Right, and then finally, um, this is in a sports race. The race between the two men has just finished. I wonder which one won. Which one won? Okay, can you think what they are? One won. Which one of the men won the race? Okay, right, so which one is the number one, spelt O-N-E, but the verb to win in the past tense, he won the race. Okay, so that's W-O-N. So, which one won? Okay. Right. So, I hope you found that helpful and interesting. And if you'd like to test yourself further, you can go to the website, ingvid.com, where there is a quiz um, to test you further on this. And if you enjoyed this lesson, perhaps you'd like to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. So, okay, well, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.